refusing typical requests and claims. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. One of the biggest challenges in business is refusing something that people are asking for. And if they're asking for a claim or they're making a typical request and you're unable to give it to them, you want to do it in a very polite and delicate manner. So it is perfectly fine to say okay in business because essentially if you were to say yes to every request that was made, you'd go out of business. And so the survival of your organization is more important than making every single one of your customers happy. But that said, you can be direct without being rude. And this is a really important distinction. When you think about the refusal, it needs to be direct and to the point, but also with caring and empathy. This is the balance we try to strike in that message communication. How am I making sure that you as a customer know that I'm refusing your request very clearly, but that there's not anything against you? See, what we're trying to do is not elevate judgment or have them feel really bad about the experience. If you start making them feel bad, they're going to complain even more. They might even set up, set up to social media campaigns and sort of create all kinds of negative backlash. So to avoid all that, what you want to do is be direct and then tell them why. I'm unfortunately, I cannot, uh, unfortunately, I cannot give you what you're asking for because of the following. And be very clear and to the point. If you would like to discuss this matter further, here's the next step. Here's the process. Whatever it is, allow them the opportunity to say their piece and make it sure that they're getting it off their chest. But ultimately, hold firm in your resolve. If there's a reason that would need to be identified as to why they could not receive what they're asking for, be very clear about what that reason is. If there's a way for them to be able to uh, dispute that resolution or challenge it, tell them what that next step is. Or if this is final, be clear about that. There is no next step. So that way they understand exactly where you're coming from, but also they can feel heard. Because ultimately, if somebody's coming to you and they have a complaint or they're making a typical request, they want to make sure that you've clearly understood what it is that they're requesting before you say no. Like I said, it's perfectly fine to say no, but you've got to do it with empathy. If you're not doing it with empathy, it's going to feel rude. It's going to feel uh, uh, very, very um, attacky. And in that way, that, that basically, if someone feels attacked, they're not going to come back and do business with you. People do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And so what you're really looking to do here is keep and establish the trust relationship, even if you have to tell them no.